everybody. Um, it's hard to think back over a year ago when we were first talking about this pre-pandemic that um, our biggest thing that we were going to do was going to be to adopt a new curriculum. And, and then we are here. And so I couldn't be happier that with our choice to go with Wonders and Maravillas, just as an overview, these were the strengths um, that we found from all of the implementation work. One of the biggest strengths we found from this is that tech personalized accessible learning and differences. There isn't any way that we could have made it really to the extent that we have without having adopted Wonders Maravillas for our elementary students. The um, enhancements that it provided us were the needed supplements for our students as they were in CDL or in distance lear learning previously. Hi, my name is Amanda Bethune and I am a fourth grade teacher at North Plains Elementary School. I've been teaching in comprehensive distance learning since March of 2020 and using the Wonders curriculum and wanted to give you a little bit of feedback on how that's been going. I wanted to start off by saying that I really appreciate that this curriculum is standards based. I also really like that there are student friendly learning targets included and um, that's easy for me to help my students understand what they need to be learning from the curriculum. I love that all the resources are read aloud to the students if they choose. It's been really nice as we try to um, continue to maintain making growth with students' reading abilities that they can not only listen to the story, but also read it at the same time. And all of the materials in the Reading Writing Companion, as well as the Reading Anthology, are uh, have the capability of being read aloud to students. I, of course, love that the curriculum is uh, accessed digitally. One of the things that's been really um, helpful is having a digital platform that has some fun activities on it for the kids. The activities have been really great to use in our um, asynchronous time after the students have been taught a concept. And another thing that's been really great about the digital platform is that all of the staff members can access the materials. So for example, if an instructional assistant is working with a the group, they're able to find the materials on uh, the Wonders platform and um, there isn't any copying or anything that needs to happen. They can just go ahead and preview those and then teach it to their group. I really like the reading writing companion aspect of Wonders. Some things that I really like about it is that um, it's engaging, the kids like it. It can be used as the paper material, as the actual physical reading writing companion, um, which my kids sometimes use at home. It can also be uh, accessed online and the kids can type in their answers. And then finally, it can be adapted to, um, for use in a slideshow or in another manner. Um, having that resource has been really helpful. Those graphic organizers are great for the kids as a scaffold and for a great place for us to work on talking about the learning. Uh, the assessments in Wonders have been really great because they're all uh, graded online. So that cuts down in my grading time and I get immediate feedback, which then I can use to drive my instruction um, quickly. And students also are getting timely feedback. Finally, I really like the quality of the literature in Wonders. I like that there are multiple resources that have really pertinent issues that the students are facing today. And that there are all types of literature, including informational, opinion, and narrative, as well as some poetry and some other fun little writings in there. Um, the literature has led to great conversations in my classroom, and in general, the kids really like the stories. So I hope that's helpful and gives you a little bit of insight as how we've been using Wonders in the classroom. Thanks. Thanks.